It's day 34 today, and we're gonna have a massive crack. We've hit back to back 40 kilometers, and I think we're gonna do it again today with the fresh runners on the feet. This is a beautiful oh, feeling after that rain. Brother, Yo. let's mash it today. Let's go. go. One, let's go. Eight kilometers into the morning run. I'm getting after it. It's starting to rain again, but the body's feeling good. We've got a pit stop in 2K, so we'll see you there. Thank you. Thank you. I'll put a little bit of water in. I wasn't sure if we wanted milk, so add, right. add more water if you want. None. These fasted coffees right now are working an absolute treat for us. It's getting us through all the way to 18 Ks every day, which is about usually two and a half hours in. And it's really good for your, your gut health as well. You feel mentally really switched on throughout the day. So cheers to that. Cheers to that. Cheers, Broski, cheers to that. Dude, bro. It's made a good cheers, day. Man. Hold on. Hold on. I wasn't pissing down, but it was fucking just... Rain I think that dulled the face. mood a little bit as well. Once we get the coffees in, we'll we'll be buzzing. The bag is one. <laughs> get the theme song. <laughs> Plan is I'm gonna try to knuckle another eight k's to the next pit stop. Run and walk. Uh, the first one we mostly walked. This one we're gonna really pick up the running and try to absolutely slap it out. Yes, I know I have coffee all over my fucking face. <laughs> How are your calves? You can take your headlamp off. Doing better? Uh, yeah, oh, <laughs> they are like cramping a little bit. Like, I don't know, I'm just really tight here. I think what's happening is because I've got the inflamed um, like ankle tendon, my calf's taking a load mm. because my leg's compensating. And I think that's what's happened. Absolutely. So now my calves are just cramping up. And every day I'm usually like up against the wall like this, really just stretching them out. It's becoming brutal, this. Across Australia, day 34 now. <laughs> the body is just starting to really feel the yeah, whack. Alright, let's get moving, boys. Yeah. Let's make this a fucking good leg. Woo! Thumbs up, baby. The best time of the day. Bad and deep. And now the legs get out. Seven k's. The bloody vein is out again. Cannot believe it. We just cannot escape this bloody storm. Yeah, I honestly can't believe it. It's like we're in another country right now. The rainbow was out five minutes ago, and now it's pissing down again. Oh well. Bloody stunk. Yeah. Getting in the Gatorade. This is the essential electrolytes we need to fuel us up. And now we're breaking the fast. Who knows if we're actually breaking the fast because it's very minimal calories and we're burning so quickly right now. Our metabolism is through the roof, but we need these salts in, avoid the cramping and to push us through to the next pit stop. The consume at this pit stop is a, a chief bar. So it's got around 20 grams of protein. It's a beef bar and this is just awesome. It starts our recovery early on in the day with the protein that we need. So, cheers to that, bro. Let's get these in and uh, another 10 k to the next pit stop. And just confirm as well in the email. I'll just say, just confirming you picked up the pill. Another 8 k until we get he did. some we got a notification. Oh, cold oats. Is that something to look name? forward to? What? The tendon. Now, I don't know what it is. I think it's like whenever it starts raining, the shoes just get a little bit heavy. It might have been a little bit of a deep one as well. It's just flared it up, but it's, it's on and off. I'm, I'm getting a pH in, in pain right now, PhD, so it's not going to stop me. I'm going to keep pushing through. And we've got these both here. We've got our oats with some collagen protein in there and some almond butter and also a bit of honey as well. We usually smash this around 26 k's in. It is 26.7 now. Feeling so flat when you pretty much fasted coming into 26 k's. If you've ever done a marathon, you understand the fear, but you just, oh my god, right now we're so flat. So we're gonna smash this down and enjoy every bit of it. Just like a massive bit of hard work. Oh yeah, get in there. Okay. 
trying to go like all of them. It becomes so compounding when the, when the feet get wet. It really does. That's what I'm finding anyway. When the socks get soaked. Are you going to switch your shoes over? Um, I know the shoes and stuff. Not new ones. I've always switched socks. Trust me, socks can make a big difference. I probably have the most unattractive tan line in the world right now. I don't know if the ladies are going to like this. And also, my feet are going purple again. I can get a close up on that. I don't know, man. This is just. What can you do? What can you do? So, at every stop, we get a lolly. Today, this is our second stop, but they're pretty <coughs> small lolly. <coughs> No, no, this is our third stop. <coughs> oh yeah, should do. So we got three. Awesome. <laughs> One lolly per stop. Dopamine reward system. <coughs> it's so dark, my throat. It's embarrassing. Which is an hour, 5.13. Seven, seven, six or seven? Nah, six. Six is good, bro. I don't know. I don't think I'm going to make it past six hours today, bro. It's blown up like a balloon. It's just too, it's too it's too early on, like to, to yeah. Do this I, shit. I agree. I agree. It's, it's a lot. It's a it's not even a marathon. It's not a marathon. It's not a sprint. It's a old job. Old job. Times ninety seven marathon. Oh, well, no, no, no. I got it. I think it's six hours. I'm just oh, I've kept that bloody strap on. Ah, uh, got him. <laughs> I've done, that, I've done that for four days in a row. So. Shoes, and we, we need all the pairs we can get on. I'll just go barefoot and go. Hey, we saw a bloke at the Gold Coast Marriott do it barefoot. Well, our previous pair, which is brand new, is absolutely drenched because it's raining again. And our socks are so wet as well. So, Jordy's going to put up a video right here of what my feet look like right now. They're purple as they can get. So, we need a shoe change or else my toes are going to fall off. Last couple of days have been a little bit slower. So what's going on, bro? My ankle tendon, I don't know if you saw it at the last checkpoint, but it's blown up like a bit of a balloon at the moment. There's like a big bubble of just swelling in there right now, and I can feel it moving around. It's feeling a bit, you know, not, the joint's not moving stable, but no matter what, we're gonna push through, we're gonna fly, and we're gonna get through to six hours, so let's go. We finally got our coffee in. 33.2 k's in, feeling pretty flat, but this should put us up for the remainder of the day. Absolutely, we love our peanut butter and honey, and of course our famous coffee. This is the, the most joy we're getting in our lives right now, and we absolutely love it. Oh, so good. 10 out of 10. Oh. <laughs> Two or three days, it'll be, it'll be gone. So I'll fire out of 16, so probably another 45. So we'll just get you boys to the end of 45. Yeah, I'll show you the time before we leave. I'll just show you how I feel when, yeah, I, yeah, yeah, when yeah. I stand back up. That's right. It's like, it's really strange. It was originally my left tendon on my ankle, and now it's my right one. And Locke's, Locke's got it a bit as well, but... Mine's not that bad. Mine's fine. Yeah, mine's probably getting inflamed now. At the end of each day, obviously today is day 34. Quick spray paint on the road, 38 k's today clocked in. Good day. Absolutely stoked with that one. We obviously had the challenges as you saw in the video. Both of our ankle tendons are flaring up a little bit right now. Locke's still dealing with his stress fracture in his left leg. But no matter what, we're pushing through it every single day for everybody back home impacted by cancer. And brother, proud of your performance today. Yeah. Oh. Oh, I'm gonna get these shoes off straight away right now. So the legs are feeling a bit sore. Driving to the roadside resting where we have no showers, that's terrific. Cleaned up, man. I'm out in the bed, I'm elevating my leg because at the moment it actually looks like I've got two ankles with the inflammation. And we're getting in some protein straight away. So we've got some tinned salmon here with some rice. And we're at roadside resting today. So we don't have a microwave. So I've literally just got a blob of butter sitting on top. 
This is also cold rice, so it's pretty grim, but you know what? It's calories. I'm going to get it in, and it's going to help me recover. Oh, this is heaven. Mindfully eating. We just meditated, and I think we both fell asleep. And reached enlightenment. I was seeing angels and all sorts of things. So we just had some mince and rice for dinner. Not really that exciting, if I'm being honest. But it was beautiful. Les did a great job cooking it up. And uh, basically the plan is now brush teeth, maybe watch a little bit of the footy, and go to bed at 7 p.m. sharp. So we can do it all again tomorrow. We're checking the footy scores. Massive cover fans. This is either a write-off off the day or a set-off.